Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and this is going to be a brief little discussion video on Aku no Hana, Episode 2. The understatedness of the first episode really, you know, picks up right where we left off in this one and ramps up to just tension heights all through this episode. I mean, you have Kasuga in the classroom right where Episode 1 left off, seeing the girl crush that he has, Psyche's gym clothes, her PE clothes, you know, held in their bag, fall on the floor. And he doesn't want anything to do with it at first. He's awed by the fact that he sees her name attached to the bag, and he tries to talk himself into leaving the classroom. But he gives in to temptation, and he ends up, because he hears, like, you know, someone moving outside the class or something, he ends up grabbing the clothes and taking off, running home. Now, in answer to this, he's so nerve-wracked, and he's under so much you know, sort of self-inflicted tension. He calls himself evil. He calls himself a deviant and so forth. And it's just amazing because the thing that this series captures is a sense that I have forgotten since school, since middle school. Um, you know, it, it really has that feeling of uneasiness if you do something wrong or, you know, whatever. If you have a crush on a girl and, like, let's say you uh, take her glasses off her desk or something like that, you know, take a pencil of hers, just because you have in this, you know, weird mind warp this idea that it'll make you feel closer to that person, that kind of thing. It's very strange and understated and yet so blatant in this episode when, of course, he is later approached by... <laughs> the queen of uh, all that is probably unholy, you know, Nakamura, she is, wow, she is just primeval. Um, essentially, she tells him when he's riding his bike home, screaming, screaming to let out his frustration, and he sees her and she stops him, essentially, and says, you know, you're going to take me wherever I want to go. You're going to do whatever I want you to do, because I saw you take those clothes, and if you don't want anyone to know about it, you're going to uh, adhere to this contract. Now, this ramps up even more by the end of the episode, because she tells him, slips him a note, you know, he's basically at this point considering confessing and and letting it all be known what he did that he stole these clothes his friends are calling the unknown benefactor deviant much like he thinks of himself and so he's under a lot of pressure and he wants to take a load off <laughs> no pun intended and uh, essentially you have Nakamura set up this meeting in the library and unbeknownst to Kasuga, you know, who shows up but Psyche. And it turns out Nakamura has told her he has something to reveal to her. Now, he's got her bag of clothes, Nakamura pushes him right into her, and his face lands right against Psyche's chest, and so she runs out very uncomfortable, and there you have it, the ear-to-ear -ear grin of Nakamura. Now, this just, the tension that ramps up, the, the promise of something ominous to come, I mean, it's almost like, is Kasuka going to just kill himself after all of the pressure he's under? I can only imagine what else Nakamura has up her sleeve to ask of him. You know, it's such an intriguing series. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought of this episode, if you've seen it. And I guess how far, you know, how closely, rather, is it sticking to the manga story? Um, I'm very curious about that. Without spoilers, please. And otherwise, that'll be for me on this. So I'll catch you later. Peace.